Hello YouTube aka Soggy Buns here with another tutorial video and with this video let's uh, s set up PyQt and so what you're gonna want to do is just go to Google and just type in uh, download PyQt and then you'll see the one that says Riverbank software PyQt PyQt4 download uh, click on that and then what you want to do is I found uh, best just to uh, click on this zip file right here if you're Windows, Linux, or Mac, whatever you're using. And if uh, that doesn't work, then they have these uh, more specific ones down here with the specific bit that you're using. So click on that, download it. It should uh, bring up an install wizard. Install it. And then what should happen? is uh, this is this is what you get when you get pi uh, qt you want to click on the designer uh, shortcut you might have to go find it in the files after the files are all downloaded and then what I did is I created a shortcut on my desktop uh, which looks just like this this is the shortcut right here qt designer and so then what we're going to want to do is you want to open up Qt, uh, file new. And then just for this one, just for quick purposes, what we'll do is we'll just open up a dialog button uh, without buttons. And just press create. And what you get is you get this dialog box that has no buttons. And what we're going to do, uh, just for a little demonstration like a hello world, uh, uh, what you'll need to do is you'll need to click on the edit widgets button right here and then scroll down and what we want to do is we want to put or actually what we want to do is we want to put a click and drag push a put a push button and what we'll do is you'll click on the push button type a uh, click me and then so this is the push button it's click me and then what we'll do is we'll actually change the object name to click button and that's just so that you can find it in the code the object name because it uses object oriented programming scroll down and then what we're going to do is we're going to put in uh, a label and then what we'll do is we'll also put in a edit line widget which I always have a problem finding this one uh, let's see edit Edit line would be in. I probably passed it. Oh, yeah, line edit, sorry. We're going to put in the line edit tool. Uh, click and drag, click on these, and then we'll just click that to line these. Another way that you can do this. Okay, and then what we'll do for here, we'll just say, we'll just say type whatever. Okay. So, all right, yeah, so we'll just click, uh, just put type whatever, and then to run it, um, press Control R, and then we can type whatever we want, and we can click me. Okay, so then what we'll do is, uh, Click this this tool right here, the edit signal slash slots. Uh, click on the button and click and hold. And we'll click that and then we'll say when it's clicked, we'll clear. Okay, so what that does is it makes it so whenever you click this button, it's gonna clear whatever we put in here. So again, control R and then uh, we'll just type whatever. Blah blah blah. Okay. And then it clears it like that. So this is just a very simple Hello world, uh, your first GUI. Okay, and so what we want to do now, this is the important part is converting because what happens is it saves as a .ui file. So, this is very important. So, pay attention. So, what you want to do is you want to click File Save As, and then what it'll do is it'll put you, it will put you into uh, their default setting. And I would recommend saving your .ui file into the recommended thing. 
So we'll just call this one hello. And it's going to save it as a .ui file. And this is important. So make sure you save it where it, it tells you to save it. Just It makes it a lot easier in the end to convert it to a, a .py file. Press save. And then what you want to do is you want to open up your command prompt. If you're using Windows or Terminal, if you're using uh, Linux. And then what you want to do, and I found that the easy way to do, easiest way to do this is just go back to File Save As, and uh, the de the default just say Copy Address. Oops, sorry about that. Copy Copy Address, and then uh, press CD for Change Directory. Right click to paste, and that will put you in that folder the, where the PyQt4 is, and that's where the converter is at. And then what you want to type is you want to type PYUIC4 for Pi, and then UIC is the converter, and then we're using 4, and then put a dash X, and then hello.ui, or whatever the file name you want to convert, uh, dash uh, O, not 0, O, and then whatever you want it to be called, hello, we'll call it hello.py. Okay? press enter and there should be no errors here. If you're having an error, uh, try again saving it in the same folder that this PyQt4 is in because it has that, it's the same folder as that converter. And this is very important. I spent like probably two days trying to figure this out why I kept getting errors. Okay, so then what you can do is you can go in and open up where it's at. Mine's in the Python 3. It's in libs. Oops, not libs. It's in lib. Site packages. Uh, PyQt4. And it should be in here. We called it hello. And so here's the hello.py. If you click it, uh, it should run it as an executable. If it doesn't, that's fine. And see here is our actual GUI running on Windows. So it works just like it was. I hit click me, it re re er erases. And but if you want to open up, open it up in the IDE, just say right click and say edit with idle. And then it will open up uh, the Python idle. And here's the code right here. And then within here, this is where we can actually change the code and have the objects uh, mess around with each other and that's what we'll do uh, later on in our next video but in this video I just wanted to show you how to download Python and we're using uh, not download the PyQ team we're using Python 3 to write the code and once again make sure that you save the UI file in the same file that the UIC is in alright I think that will be it for this video uh, please like if you liked describe or uh, like if you liked it dislike if you didn't like it uh, subscribe those help out a lot uh, leave a comment below if there's anything that you want to see done if there's any sort of goos you want to do or any tips or tricks or anything that you noticed uh, and tell me what you think about this uh, I was thinking about what we can do is use our Hunt the Wumpus code and make a GUI, an interactive GUI based on the hump, Hunt the Wumpus code. If you like that, hit like or leave a comment below. And thank you.